Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to Tech Tuesday, your weekly look at everything to do with technology in golf. And boy oh boy, have we got some breaking news coming just as I start to film and edit. So the breaking news is that Sergio and TaylorMade have split ways after 15 years of working together. And although there have been a few rumours circulate within the last couple of weeks, this still comes as quite a big surprise. Sergio is someone who you think about and when when you consider the clubs that he uses, it's tailor-made. It always has been for as long as I've been paying any real attention to golf. And you have a look at some of the other players who are like that, so you'd say Jason Day, you'd say Justin Rose. These are players who when you think about their equipment you also think tailor-made. It's like Jordan Spieth with Titleist, it's like Stenson when you think about him with Callaway. There's just certain players who you associate with a brand and who you think are happy with those brands as well. Now in the last few weeks Sergio has been seen playing with other clubs. So he's been seen with a Callaway Mac Daddy wedge and he also broke a two long putter and then had to finish out the round with his three wood a couple of weeks ago. So he has been experimenting around with new clubs. So you can see that something wasn't quite right there but we don't know the reason as to why this split has happened. TaylorMade have released a statement which says today after a memorable 15 year partnership with Sergio Garcia we've mutually agreed on a release from the remaining years of his TaylorMade contract. It's been an honour to play a role in his performance throughout his career including the Players Championship, 90 Worldwide Wins, Ryder Cup, blah 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 and his 2017 Masters win. Uh, we congratulate Sergio on a career year and wish him all the best for the future. And that last sentence really does make this strange because Sergio has won a major this year. He has had a career year if you want to think about it like that. You know, he has put himself now in the record books as a major champion. He's obviously got married this year. There's loads of positive things which have been happening in Sergio's life. And you would have thought that he'd want to build on what he now has. But for whatever reason, it has now come to an end. With the clubs that he's been using, you would imagine that Callaway would be the natural fit. Is he going to be going there? Or is he going to be going down the route that other tour pros have in recent years? Where they've broken out of club contracts, so the Nike players, Nike players, are always the key example of this. So you still have a look at Brooks Kepka, you have a look at other players like that who have got mixed bags now. You know, they're not just tied to one brand. Is Sergio going to go down that route? Because at the end of the day, money does not matter to these guys anymore. Are they starting to think, you know, I can combine different sets to give me a better performance level? Or is there something which has gone on at a deeper level here? Because like I said, it is such a synonymous partnership. It just doesn't... It doesn't make sense. One thing you also have to consider, it is the end of the year as far as the big tournaments go. Now what that means is we enter now silly season where you will see quite a few players swapping to different brands. But maybe none of them will be quite as large as this. But I'd love to know your thoughts below. What do you think about this change? Where do you think he's gonna go to? Do you think he's gonna have this mixed bag? Would love to know what you think. We'd love to know if you're as surprised as I am, really. In some more positive news from a tailor-made standpoint, however, Tiger has been seen hitting shots again. And when I say he's been seen hitting shots again, he posted a video, and as you might imagine, just as after when he post posted his video hitting little wedge shots, everyone went mental. And me included, I reposted that video because who doesn't want to see the big cat back? But it is a good thing to see him swinging again. You do have that down the back of your mind if he will actually ever come back to competitive golf because one slow mo video posted on Instagram does not make a comeback. You know, there's a lot more that needs to be done, but I am so hopeful. I'm so hopeful that he can make it back and we can see him playing competitively again because at this moment in time, golf is not ready to let him go you know the sport still needs him and by what you've seen maybe happening in recent months he still needs the sport so it's going to be interesting and i just hope he can make it back in other news of people going to different manufacturers and again involving callaway uh maverick mcneely which is you know any anyone called maverick yeah, if they turn pro, they're probably going to be good. Uh, but he was the former number one amateur in the world. And he's signed up with a few different sponsors, actually. He's got Under Armour Clothing. Uh, he's got KPMG. 
Uh, he's also got um, Callaway, which should be on the face of it, considering his amateur record, a really good move by Callaway. You know, snapping a kid up young, hopefully staying with him for quite some time as he starts his career on the PJ Tour. The step from amateur to professional now, those lines are a lot more blurred than they used to be. You used to see some amateurs come on tour and you weren't quite sure if they could cut it. Most of the top amateurs in the world now are turning up on tour ready to win. They are pretty much ready-made tour professionals by the time they reach that level. So it's going to be exciting to see how he gets on. Also, I've been sent through some of these bad boys. So these are Cure Putters, and this isn't so much just a review, this is just a little bit of a look at these things. These are high MOI putters, so these are putters with some of the... the, the uh, so these Cure Putters have the highest MOI on the market, I think, uh, which basically means they're the most resistant to twisting on putting of all the putters out there, and super forgiving. They look massive um, behind the ball is only the best way of describing it. Uh, I had a go with one of the classic ones uh, the other day. This is the RX4. This is a, what, it's, just, it's just massive. Uh, <laughs> And this is another one of the classic ones, the CX3. Uh, and you can see here, obviously, the size, uh, but also you can see these screws here. So these are removable weights. And on the bigger versions of these putters, you can also attach extra weights to here for extra forgiveness, extra headway, and all the rest of it. And there will be a more conclusive review video coming on those, just as I test them out, basically. Uh, as you know, I don't really tend to do that many club reviews, and I'll only do a review if it's got a chance of making it into my bag. But I'll give it a go and I'll see. If not, it'll give some decent information anyway. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this week's Tech Tuesday. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about all the topics which have been covered today, especially that big Sergio news. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on more of the social media, and we will see you down here next time.